you go now fellas, here we go, I just thought I'd try out this actually, the Cappy Ginger Beer. This was at a Dan Murphy's, I just thought I'd try something different. So I'll chuck a little bit of that in there and have a straight up one of those. Yeah, plenty of uh, ginger taste. Yeah, not too bad. I bought this the other day. I did a bit of a video on it. I love having a few of them. Nearly half a bottle anyway. I didn't realise. I thought it was... I only had a couple. I must have had a few more. Anyway, I'll try this with the cappy. I like good ginger beer. So I just wanted something a bit better than your sweeps, which is a bit Joe Average, I reckon. Cheers, Emma. Forty-five percent, pretty strong. Got a little bit more of that. Yeah, not too bad. All right, guys. So, um. What got me was it was only a dollar eighty or a dollar ninety, and I thought that's not too bad, because most of their mixes are like three dollars, four dollars, five dollars a bottle. I know they're quite exclusive, some of them, but yeah, well, why not pay a dollar eighty instead of three dollars forty or something? That's ridiculous. All right, so that's not a bad ginger beer. This is pretty good uh, bourbon. For something that's sort of not too expensive for 45%. Because most of the other ones for 45% you're starting to pay 50, 60 even. Depends what shop. So that's not bad either. And any of you guys been diving? I've, I did a dive course in um, Central America off Roatan. I thought it was fantastic. And, uh, yeah, we spent a bit of time I've done a bit of the uh, Great Barrier Reef. A little bit of diving here and here and there. And um, a lot of snorkeling. A bit of spear fishing in the day. Still got all the gear. Got the spear gun still. It's a good little book, this one. Just sort of reminds you to get out there and travel again. There's plenty of things out there to go and see. Plenty of wise people to go and learn something off. Some great food to go and learn about. Yeah, there you go. That got me in. I was doing this for um, nearly nine months in Thailand, wearing those robes. Exactly the same, really. Right. A little bit different colour. I had one of those colours. Um, I had a few different colour ones, which was good, actually. Like you have a forest monk one, the ones that live in the forest, and they're darker. And then you have sort of like a mid, a lot of mid coloured ones between the orange and the dark colour. And I had one of those. That was a good, it was actually probably because it was the only one that was long enough for me. Isn't that weird? Otherwise it would have probably just had a standard orange one, but they don't make them that big. Yeah, I'm a bit of a freak. Anyway, there's another monk here. Tibetan. Their Buddhism is a little bit different to the Thai Buddhism or the original Buddhism. No, it's all good though. How's that though? That's amazing. Life's funny. Lonely Planet. Well, one planet. There you go. It's Lonely Planet's book. That's spectacular. I, I just love all this stuff. I love... American Indian jewellery as well, that even though it's quite basic silver and, um, you know, stones like topaz or, you know, all these different things they use. Anyway, it's all good. Get out and see the world, everyone. It's Trev's Travel Tales. How's that one? It's a pretty uh, spectacular face. Great eyes, beautiful shape eyes. Humans are beautiful things. 
pitiful creatures. And if they weren't, horrible place, wouldn't it? Anyway, all right, I'll leave you with that. Oh, this is Guatemala. I've been there. I live with these people. The Mayan Indians, they're fantastic to live with. They take a long time to cook, but they're unbelievable. Like, I'd be sitting in a restaurant, and they come over and give you a cuddle. Like, the girl that's, you know, 18 or whatever, working in a restaurant. She'll come and give you a cuddle. And you order your food, and then the food comes out about 40 minutes later, and there's no one else in the restaurant. You're the only one there. It was amazing. There's no rush. There's no, no, there's no idea of stress that's put on the Western person. These people live like they lived thousands of years ago. It was amazing. I just loved it. Very colourful people, colourful clothes, you know, friendly, happy. Yeah, you know, the Mayans are good. I enjoyed living with the Mayans. A few villages over the um, trip, over the four months. Yeah, the Mayan people are amazing. The, the stuffed fish was fantastic. Three herbs stuffed inside. 